always tell you the price of the Thermomix up front. So the Thermomix is $2,269. We've got 24 months interest free at the moment, which brings it down to $23.69 a week. We do have a special for April. So April's special offer is that you can add the oval thermo server and the blade cover for $39. But when Julie's cooking, she's going to explain to you what, why you need both of those items. Mm -hmm. um, but that is the little limited time offer um, that we've got for April. Um, now, I'm not sure if you guys know, also we do have a special on the bowl blade and lid, but you can chat to Julie and Tanya um, about that when, when you come to that um, as well. We'll talk about our payment options and all that at the end yep. um, as well. So, so just a quick yeah. question though, Fiona. Um, you signed up to the um, cooking experience on the basis of the bowl blade lid. Is that something that you were particularly interested in or you were just looking at the Thermomix in general? Um, perhaps. My sister has a Thermomix. Yeah, okay. So I've been curious about one for a while. For a while. And you're saying, look, awesome. And where are you, Fiona? Sorry, one more question. In cool. Sorry? I'm in Coffs. Oh, you're in Coffs. Oh, you okay. could be here with us. Oh, you could have come over, Fiona. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then you actually get to eat the food as well. <laughs> you missed out, Fiona. Oh. Sorry, I, I didn't realise that you were um, were local. But anyway, over to okay. Julie. So tell us what we're having today, Jules. So today we're going to be making the Fruity Dream. And that's, um, it's basically a few... Um, <laughs> puree that whips up like a soft serve so it's a lot healthier than eating okay. like soft serve. Um, so it's a good it's a good treat for a kid but it's also really nice for summer what a flavor really you can add a bit of vodka if you want to make it adult only i did that the other day with one of my in-person um the oh. demonstrations yes they um, decided to make it into a cocktail which was really good Excellent. okay so with the gm6 and um, we have guided cooking so if we go over here to these three little lines and click on that, now I've got the Cookadoo um, screen up. So Cookadoo is our online recipe platform and there is about 60,000 recipes um, in Cookadoo that you can use for guided cooking. Um, so, and these can be sorted into things like um, my recipes, your, your bookmarked ones, created collections. Let's see what Gemma's. Oh, here we go. <laughs> so Gemma's got um, some Eat Well favourites. Fuss Pot Shaney Pants is another one that she's called her. So obviously that's um, recipes that her husband likes. We've got Lunchbox, Lunchbox Workshop, Mel's favourites. Yeah, so I've got a team leader friend who always is telling me about good recipes. So I um, I put, put them, them in, in, in Mel's favourites because she always raves about these recipes. So And yeah. then we've got Wes's collection. So Wes's obviously collection. Wes is um, her older boy, so he uses the Thermomix and that's what he makes. So we've got all these, we can make all these collections um, to make it easier for each person in the family to find the recipes that they want. We've also got one of my favourite things, which is recently cooked. Because rather than go through the 60,000 recipes and actually look for um, a recipe that you might have cooked last week or last month or whatever, mm. you can just scroll down here. Oh, you've made Sticky Date Queen. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Are you going to get an invite to that? <laughs> but anyway. Okay, so we've got recently cooked. Then we've got another one that says my week. Now, I'm not sure if you've got a... Yep, I've put in today what we're going to cook today. Oh, well I'm organised, Jules. So with my week, you can go through a meal plan for your week. Um, and then once you've got your meals in there, you can actually send that um, meal plan off to um, a shopping list, um, which can be on your phone or on your iPad, or you can send it directly to Woolworths and have the um, groceries ready for you to pick up or do home delivery. So it is a really smart connected machine. Or you can text them to your husband to collect We don't even have to text him. You just, you just got to make sure he's got the cookie. Oh, we right. do. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and get him to pick it up for yeah. work after yeah. work. But anyway, so um, today we're going to be cooking the Fruity Dream. So I just go in here and tap on Fruity Dream and the recipe comes up. Newer versions are um, available, so we go OK. Now, if we want to get the ingredients out, we can just scroll down, have a look and see what those ingredients are. Without touching start cooking. Yes. <laughs> and, um, and get our ingredients out. Yeah, sure I've done that. Here. And once we've got our ingredients out, we'll just click start cooking so today it's going to be a mixed berry 
because these were the only 100% Australian berry the frozen fruit I could get. So we're having mixed berry mixed fruity berry. drink today. Okay. So our first step, it says, is to add 80 grams of raw sugar. So we've got the sugar here and we've got the scales up. So I'm just going to measure in 80 grams. Oh, a little bit extra doesn't matter. 89. <laughs> so it's just a little bit sweeter, but that's all right. We're very precise cooks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Shane reckons that we're going to start a drinking game that every time I say a little bit over is okay, that everyone has to have a drink. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> but we didn't tell you about that. But so, today. yeah. So next it says insert the measuring cup into the mixing bowl and go next. And so I press next. And then it wants me to go... Turn the speed selector, which is this one, to speed nine. Yes. Okay, so what we've done there is we've just milled the sugar. So milling is something um, that the thermics does. So all this isn't smoke coming off the machine. This is actually um, icing sugar now. And we do this in this recipe because we don't want any gritty bits of sugar in our soft serve. But if you wanted to mill spices, make garam masala or whatever, you'd put whole spices, even nutmeg and things like that, and it will ground down to a nice powder. Okay, so that's done. We'll press next. And it wants 600 um, grams of mixed berries. So that's yeah, that's that's full. Okay. 400, yeah. So we're pretty right too. Yeah. <laughs> yep, lovely. So that's 16. Excellent. And then I'll press next. And, and so they're just straight from the freezer. I just grabbed them out of the freezer. So, so they're going to be they're they're nice and frozen. hard. Yep. <laughs> okay, now it's saying insert the spatula through the hole in the mixing bowl lid. Okay, so I can do that. So our spatula is designed so that you can use this um, when the blades are going, and because of the collar on here, it won't touch the blades at all. So and if, if a step um, sounds a little bit confusing, on this screen here, we've actually got a video that shows you exactly what we're talking about. So if I press go on the video, it's going to go through and show you that you're putting the spatula in and moving it around there. So all of it is, um, when all of it is really simple to follow. Okay, so we're Xing out of that. We're and you can just hit next. If you've already seen that video, you just go next past yeah, that. You don't, you don't have, have to watch, watch the video each time. Okay. <laughs> One of my customers thought you had to play the video each time. Oh. <laughs> she been watching the same video every time she made a recipe. But yeah, go next. <laughs> just thought it'd be worth a mention. <laughs> okay, so press next. And then it wants us to turn to speed selected to 10, which is our fast. me to insert the butterfly so the butterfly comes with your machine as well and this is used to aerate um, things like cream um, to whip cream or aerate meringues egg whites to make meringue um, 
you know, use it in mayonnaise and things like that. So we just put this in over the blades. And then we give it a half turn, which I've done. I didn't make that look very easy, did I? No, and I was just going to say, did it tell us? Um, yeah, so it's saying that we can do another um, speed turn if necessary, but that's, that's okay. Pass. So yeah, we'll yeah, yeah. pass that. And then said, so, because uh, I didn't see it actually tell you to put the butterfly with it. Oh. So I was like, it has told us that, hasn't it? But there it is now. Yeah. <laughs> so I made this a few times. I, I was going to say, we know this recipe off by heart. So we're just like, now it's the time for the butterfly whisk. Yeah, go. So, butterfly whisk is in, press next. Now, I'm going to add an egg white to this mixture. And I'm just going to get you a little bit of water in case it needs a little bit extra. Yeah, because it's well. very free. Because so it, it was only a little egg, too. Yeah. Okay. But so I'm just going to put it. You're going to put a little bit of it in? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and go okay, next. So, it says now we're going to put the lid and the measuring cup and press next. And go to speed four. I wonder if we can um, take the lid off and see if we can see it. Um, so I really like <laughs> watching this. Because it just starts to get lighter and lighter and fluffier and fluffier. Are either of you girls buying like prepared like sorbets or anything like that other than ice cream? I guess probably everybody buys ice cream. Or I guess everybody buys ice cream. But what are you guys buying at the moment? We make cream. <laughs> oh, I can't hear him, so I'm sorry. Oh, wait. <laughs> Hang on a sec, I might just have to wait till that's finished. Wait. Yeah, it's a little loud. <laughs> oh, that's looking good, Jules. I know. It's just magic. Tastes so creamy. It actually tastes like you've got cream or something in it. It tastes more like a fruit ice cream. Just gonna get a little bowl ready to scoop something too. Yep. So it says next, remove the butter flowers. I just look at that, honestly. I that oh, it's so perfect. And it? now you can <laughs> see <just laughs> see what it looks like. It's because it's not dark. It's lightened up. It's all fluffy. And you can do this with literally any um, any frozen fruit. fruit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Here's a scoop for you okay. to plate upside. Do you you can. Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, get some out, and then I'll um, I'll might just put I might put the whole thing in the freezer, and then I'll get it out later. Yeah. Look at that. Pretty nice. It's wasted because fussy pot, fussy pants won't eat that. But <laughs> the other thing you can do with this mixture is um, is spoon it into molds mm. because even though it's really nice and fluffy and light now, your freezer's um, solid enough that it will actually go into an ice cream mold for um, yeah old ice creams. Yeah. So oh, there you go. There's our. There's our fruity dream. Beautiful. I'm going to put that whole thing in the freezer and I'm going to deal with that in a minute. Oh, later. Mm. Oh, maybe I won't because it won't fit. That's okay. <laughs> put it in the fridge. I'll, I'll put it in a container. I'll put it in a container. You just, you, you just keep carry going. on, regardless. You, ca you carry on the show, Julie. <laughs> it's so good having two people here. You can have a little sous chef. Do you know what? I haven't eaten, eaten oh. the um, fruity dream for so long because I always make it at demos. But, yeah. but usually we've got people eating it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So that's really nice. It's yummy, isn't it? It is. I always forget how good it is. Okay. So do you have any kids or anything, Fiona? Yes. How old are they? Um, six and eight. Ooh. Oh, perfect. Okay. So they would love getting into something like this. Yes, they would. Yeah. So, so what did everybody, what was the answer to, like, what um, sort of sorbets or ice creams are you buying prepared? Or are you making your own already? I buy vanilla ice cream and that's about it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you can um, you can definitely make a, um, you know, a substitute for vanilla. Or you can make vanilla ice cream as well if you really wanted to. But um, you can definitely do like a creamy one as well. So if that's what tickles your fancy. 
But coming into winter, it's all about custard. Yes. Yeah, yeah this is true. It's really a, like a custard. We should have done custard. Oh. It's so easy. Anyway. Okay, so now it says remove the whisk. It um, says transfer to serve and finish. So now we've finished that recipe. Okay. Right on. So some people, um, when they're looking at the Thermomix, they're looking at it because they're busy and they want to save time. You'll find that um, with a lot of the recipes for main meals, um, you'll do a few steps in it and then it'll say, okay, cooking for 20 minutes. So you know you don't have to stir or do anything. You don't have to be in the kitchen. You can go and do bath times or put, um, yeah, that's pretty nice. Or, or go and um, put clothes online or something like that. The Thermomix is not gonna need any attention from you. Mm. So that's one of the big sellers for um, parents, people with kids. Um, it's also um, good for people who are wanting um, to eat a bit healthier and not have so many preservatives. So one of the recipes we're doing today is the creamy coconut um, chicken curry. And so in here is our curry paste. Now, this the curry paste recipe makes up five serves. So what I do with mine is I'll make it up and then I'll put it into freezer bags um, in, in the serving sizes and then any time I want to make a curry, I just, it's literally just a few, like you'll see, it's, mm. it's nice and simple. So in that way we're actually um, knowing what's in our food because we're cooking from scratch but it's actually not taking us anywhere near the time um, yeah. that it would normally take. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to choose our, go to my week, and we're going to creamy coconut chicken. Yeah, so saving time is one reason, and health is another reason people choose the Thermomix. Um, for me, because um, we were having pizza one night a week, and I had um, one, one bigger child, a big husband, and two little kids. Yeah. It's costing us like $70 in Domino's pizza, the one cheap, cheap night that we were having. Yeah. Whereas now we just make the dough. Yeah. And it's, it costs next to nothing. And, and um, the quality of your food has gone up, hasn't oh, it? It's, like, it's not even... It's not yeah. even the money. It's, that's the, it's that's not even a comparable item, a Domino's yeah. pizza, to, to a home-cooked... I know, Pizza. especially when all of our kids want something different. So yeah. they just make their own now. <laughs> they can just do their own. And yeah. Anise decided she's a vegetarian. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah, and Brett's the do. whole meat eater. So, yeah. 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 But this way we can all choose our own. Yeah. Anyway, we've got creamy chicken curry. Press start cooking. Okay, this is, um, we're making cauliflower rice first up. Um, and we're going to have cauliflower rice with this instead of um, regular rice. So... Um, it says 350 grams of cauliflower. So I never weigh this because I, I prepped for this. I never weigh this because I just buy one cauliflower. So you just do half of it in the first step and whatever's left in the next step. Yep. So 350 grams, press next. Put the lid on, I've done that. And then turn to speed five. Oh, do you need another spatula? Okay, I'm going to grab the Varoma down. Hopefully things won't fall. Oh, no, it should be right, except the simmering basket's on the top of it there. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I didn't I didn't design the kitchen for, for anyone shorter than me. Oh, am I shorter than you? Hi. <laughs> I can reach it. Okay. <laughs> You've got your heels on. I've got heels on. Oh, my God, I am shorter than you. <laughs> oh, I'm not taller than anybody. Okay, so here is our... Cauliflower rice. Um, so you can just see it's all nice and riced. If you've bought cauliflower rice at Woolworths, you'll know that. I can't believe they actually even sell cauliflower rice at Woolworths, but well, I, I get it. I know why you would buy it, but but when you, you just can just make when you it. can just do it in three seconds in the mix, like yeah. And the thing is, it blows tastes, my mind. Well, the first time I ever tried cauliflower rice. Um, I had one of those packets and it's disgusting. Oh, is it? Yeah, oh, it's like they've used... It's not the same. It's like they've used the cauliflower that nobody would have bought. Oh. But anyway, that's... Yep. Okay, so now we're adding the rest. So, and our Varoma here 
is our steaming attachment. So we've put some of the cauliflower rice down on the bottom. <laughs> Just throw oh that across God, the What are you doing? <laughs> and the tray, the Veroma tray on top. For the next lot of your... I'm, 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 help, I'm assisting you. <laughs> You're not going to throw anything? No, I'll leave that. that. Oh, <laughs> <sorry. laughs> All right. Okay. So there we go. There's our second lot of cauliflower rice. Oh, good. So, so. Oh, I'll use that instead of my fingers this yeah. time. I don't want you to cut yourself. <laughs> We're keeping it real here when um, nobody's eating our, eating our um, food. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. That's all right. <laughs> okay. You're not going to when, back, are you? Oh, no. <laughs> I usually, uh, any other time I have someone in the kitchen with me, it's usually my 10-year-old son. And I'm talking or whatever, and he's just eating the raw ingredients. Like, and I'm like, it's not until I re-watch the video. Yeah. I'm like, Wes, how much pasta dough did you eat? Like, while we were making pasta or whatever it is. So that's all he does. But it's good because you've got the kids in the kitchen helping you. That's and right. that's really important for them. Exactly. Okay, so we're putting that aside. Oh, and Wes is 11. Shane just tells me. I said 10. Next, okay, so we've transferred that aside. It says to clean and dry the mixing bowl. No. But do you know what? I'd never worry about Nobody's that. Nobody's got time um, for that, Julie. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and you don't need to worry because it's cauliflower, it's going to be in the curry anyway. Yeah. So, yep. Okay, so 10 to 15 grams of ginger. So we've got beautiful fresh ginger here. There's no reason to peel it because it's nice and young um, ginger. So oh, and that's. 23 grams, but just chuck that in, Jules. I like it a bit extra ginger. Yeah, like that? Okay. Yeah. So we've got extra ginger. <laughs> and I only gave you half a chilli today as well, because oh, last no. time you made it with a full chilli and it was a bit too hot for my family. So I've limited your you chilli limited intake. <laughs> and um, my garlic. Is I know the garlic's a bit sad. <laughs> okay, it says one clove of garlic. Now, ordinarily, I'd probably put in two More. or three that size, yeah. but she's given me one and a half. So it's all like that. But this is the brilliant, this is the good thing about the Thermomix is you just use whatever you've got. It doesn't matter. It doesn't know if you're putting in five garlic cloves or one tiny little one. And that's one. what some people have asked me with the guided cooking. Are you able to change the ingredients? Because they get a bit concerned that the Thermomix is going to know what they're putting in it. Yeah. So if you know that you always, um, that you really like um, to have, uh, I don't know. If you, well, say, say you want to add peas to your curry. Mm. So you get some vegetables in there it's fine chuck them in chuck that's them in. right yeah. yeah and i had a lady say to me um that she doesn't always have all the ingredients and lots of the times you can leave one thing out like you this curry that. will still work if you don't put the chili in or if you don't put the garlic in like it won't be the okay. perfect way the person that wrote that recipe wants it to taste but it'll still work it'll still feed your family so yeah. you don't have to stress too much about that either so this actually this recipe actually says one to two yeah i see that as one half of a fresh <laughs> That's all right. Okay, so we've done what it says. Yeah. We've got those ingredients in. Yeah. Now it says it wants us to put it on um, for three seconds, speed seven. So this is going to chop it all up. Time. <laughs> and it's done. So much easier than grating your garlic or oh, crushing it or anything. That's so fine. Yeah, haven't done that for a while. No. And if you have a look in, you can see that it's all nicely, finely chopped. So, Have, did we, oh, did we see that? Well, yeah. I think we did. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there you go. It's all chopped. Yeah. Excellent. Don't need next. any fun in that. So go next. <laughs> okay. It says do, do not, not scrape sides. Of do not. Oh, okay. <laughs> Add your brown onion. Cut yeah. into wedges. So yeah. this is our brown onion. I haven't onion. this. So. Awesome. Oh, look at that. Only 184. 16 grams off. That was one onion. Again, I'm not going to chop up another uh, onion for, of an onion for 16 it. grams, so that'll do us. Yep, press next. And we want 20 grams of oil. Can you just pour? Oh, look at you. You've, figured out, my, you've figured out my um, olive oil. Yeah, she made me feel like a little bit of a... Um, <laughs> Would I do that? A newbie. Because <laughs> I couldn't work out how to open it. <laughs> yeah, but anyway. It's all good. Not, not all things are as easy as the first. No. Okay, here it says that we need to place the splash guard. Yeah. On. Let's just so go done because I don't actually know where the splash guard is, Julie. 
And we want to see through the hole. That's and my we story. Want, yeah, okay. We want to we want to look at it while it's cooking. So when you buy your Thermomix, a splash guard comes with it, and that's just basically as a precaution because sometimes we want the um, lid out so that um, the moisture escapes and we get that caramelization. So we're going to leave the MC out. We're yeah. going to tell the Thermomix that we put the splatter guard on. Just a little white lie. So I've done it. Don't tell them that we told you to do that. No. <laughs> we're, bla we're blaming it, Jim. So. <laughs> Okay, and then we we'll turn that on. So now it's going to cook the onion, garlic, ginger, and chili, and it's going to allow the um, steam to come off and caramelise. And in a few minutes, you'll hear it all start to sizzle because the TM6 does have the high heat yep. um, functionality where it does caramelise and goes to a higher heat than the TM5. Excellent. Oh, you're cleaning up now. Oh, look meeting. at me go. And, and this is the thing. So now where the time saving comes in, if you are, you know, like we are all probably busy with um, children and, you know, life, is you've now got four minutes where we're just going to chat to you for four minutes. But you could, like, clean up your kitchen, chuck a load of washing on, whatever yeah. you can do in four minutes. So, And this is where you can actually leave the kitchen. You don't yeah. need to be watching it or stirring it or whatever. Crying off these things and watching it that's yeah. the thing and it's really funny that once you see that time on there that you know you've got available it's like oh four minutes what can I do in four minutes <laughs> and I can't remember the last time I sat down um, to dinner with a dirty kitchen no because no, cause you have time to clean up and pack the dishwasher and all that yeah all that fun stuff that we get to do so um, girls while we've got four minutes has anybody got any questions so far Tanya, anything to add that we've missed? <laughs> I just like to say that when you actually look at the actual display, I just wanted the girls to see that basically that when you touch them, they're actually bigger and that's the one that you manipulate. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you can't go further than max because you're on yeah. high heat. But, yeah, so you can talk to the time temperature, speed there on the thing. And um, when you get a Thermomix, your consultant will actually explain to you how to cook in it manually as well. So both the recipes that we cook today are in our guided cooking because they're on our cookie do. There's thousands of recipes on cookie do. I myself barely ever deviate from cookie do. Um, the opposite. Yeah, you always are doing manual cooking. Yeah. So um, your consultant will explain to you how to do manual cooking. So if you've got a cookbook, I don't know, maybe a Thermo Kitchen cookbook, for instance, um, it will have the instructions in it of the Thermomix method of cooking. Yeah, so you, which buttons to press. So you'll actually press it, choose the time, Press it, choose the temperature, and then the speed. And when a thermo, when a recipe is written for Thermomix, it's always got that time, temperature, speed. So very easy to follow, even if you're doing it manually. Well, I say the hard way, but it's not really the hard way. It's still pretty easy. Yeah. Um, now, Fiona, did you have a question, love? No, no. Oh, I'm I think you come off mute, and I thought you might have had. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, no. That's okay. It's okay. <laughs> So one, one other thing I like to tell people is that if you've got your smoothie or whatever that you're used to having in the morning, um, just because it's a really smart uh, machine doesn't mean you can't just use it like a blender. Yeah. Basically, uh, all you do is just turn the speed dial up the same as you would a blender. So anything that you would usually use a blender or a food processor for. Yeah, there's nothing that that appliance can do that the Thermomix can't, even yeah. the basic things you can do. And you don't need a recipe. You just yeah. do it the same way as what you always would. You just chuck the ingredients in, turn it off. Yeah. yeah. I wish you could smell how good the um, the onions are smelling. They smell know. good, don't they? They do. <laughs> Excellent. What have we got? We've got 52 seconds to go. Did you have something else, Tan? Um, I also wanted to say I like to sometimes explain that when you have your onions and you've got fussy eaters in your house, you can deviate from the recipe and you can actually blitz like the onions. You can actually get the flavour through the meal without having to have the chunks. Yeah. And I quite often have to do that for my kids, even though they're adults, because if there's onion seen in it, it's contaminated. Yeah. So this this um, particular recipe, you cut the onions a bit small, a bit smaller than what we normally have to. Normally, if you add an onion to a recipe, you only cut it in half because the Thermomix blitzes it. Whereas this recipe, it keeps the onion in nice whole pieces, which I like. But yeah, exactly, Tan. If you've got fussy eaters, 
and you know, oh, look, it's kept the onion in chunks like this, you could just go out and blitz this so that they don't even know there's any onion in it. And the same as like if you're making like a bolognese or whatever and you want to put veggies in, yeah. you can almost juice the veggies so that they can't find any veggies. So you can smuggle lots everything. of good stuff yeah. in there. Carrots, zucchini, everything. Yeah. I usually go half uh, minced to half vegetables. Yeah. And the kids can't. They can't tell. Yeah. 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 Okay. So there we go. And we've got that there like that. And you can see a bit of caramelization there on the bottom. So that's going to give the curry its flavour as well. So that'll get lifted up off um, when we cook. So we're going to go next. And now we've got our 90 grams of homemade tandoori paste. So this is actually um, in Kukudu as well. Mm. Yeah. It's something that I always have in my freezer. I can see you put it in a jar. I always freeze yeah, it. Yeah, only because I've been making this a fair bit, but I, I normally do snap lock bag and freeze it in, like you said, in the 90 gram lots. But this, as you can see, the jar's almost empty. I've, had, I've given it a bit of a run for its money the last um, few months. So, and it lasts for a long time, in, even just in the fridge, but obviously even longer in the um, yeah, freezer. Okay, there we go. That's our 90 grams Lovely. of tandoori paste. Oh, I probably only have one more in there and I'll have to make have to myself make a new one. But it's only in five minutes. I, it's, it's only five. five. Look, not even that, probably. It's only just chuck it in and blend it, and isn't blend it? it. Yeah. I know. So I did a delivery in Maxwell yesterday. Yeah. And she's already got a TM5 and now she's got her TM6. So instead of doing the Beijing paste, we made the tandoori Ooh. paste with her. Yep. Um, yeah. So, because she wanted to have some of those pastes all ready to ready. go in her freezer. Yeah. The Thai, um, the red Thai paste is really good too, isn't it? Have you made that? No, I haven't. Oh, the um, red, red curry paste. Thai red curry paste, I think it's called. It's really good. Okay. So made the green one. Green. Or is it green? I might have the wrong. I might have the wrong colour. I'm pretty sure it's red. <laughs> okay. So here we go, we've added the 30 grams of tomato paste, and now it would like some water. Oh. 100 grams of water. Sure. I meant to grab a jug for that, but anyway, let's just use the bowl of the onions. <laughs> Save on washing up. Exactly. Yep. Can I give you enough? Excellent. Thank you. Eight grams. A little bit over, doesn't matter? No. And 20 grams of almond meal. So almond meal is used to kind of give the curry a bit of thickness. Yeah, and that was what I had left, so I just chucked all that in. Well, and I made that in my Thermomix. Yeah, I thought it looked nice. Yeah, so I, I had that in a container because I made like a half a bag of almonds. I milled it up. Um, but the good thing about having two bowl blades and lid, if we'd have got to this stage and we realised we didn't have any almonds, we could have grabbed our I clean jug... Popped it on, popped the almonds in, milled it up, put yep. the almond meal and get back, back in there if we yep. wanted to. Otherwise, you've got to um, take everything out. Or just it leave it without it. almond meal, I would. <laughs> okay, so now we've got our, oh, our chicken. 500 oh. grams of chicken. Here's some I prepared earlier for you, Julie. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay. I love having a friend in the kitchen. I know. It's so much more fun to <laughs> It's so much more fun than me just standing here talking to myself. So added the chicken to the bowl. And I was going to say the other thing, I actually bought a, I bought a kilo of chicken because I was going to double this um, because you can easily double this yeah, chicken. Yeah. If, if 500 grams of chicken is not enough for your family, yep. um, you can easily double it. But I have to make this again tomorrow. So I kept my other 500 grams for tomorrow's yeah. version. Yeah. So I, I, I do it regularly. Hey? I do a kilo religiously all yeah, the time. I, I normally do too because there's plenty of liquid for a kilo. My family's too big for just 500 grams. Yeah. And plus if you're going to make it, I always think, oh, you might as well put like at least one serve in for lunch in the freezer or yeah. and some, bit of you know, paper. A, a little bit of <laughs> some leftovers to have as well. So Yeah, I like cooking but I like um, knowing that. I love getting done. something. I love getting something out of the freezer that's already made. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. So now this is where we use our Varoma um, to steam the cauliflower. So all we do is put this on top and the steam from the curry underneath cooking is actually going to cook the cauliflower rice. So we're going to turn this on. It's um, going for eight minutes on Varoma and speed one. 
and it is in reverse. So yeah. reverse the um, forward side of the blades when it's going clockwise. Um, obviously a shark, that's because they can chop up the whatever, everything, the frozen fruit to the garlic and all of that. So they're quite sharp. But on the back side of the blades is blunt. So obviously we don't want to chop, we don't want to have shredded chicken through our curry. Yeah. So it goes on reverse on the blunt side of the blade, so it's literally just stirring the chicken through the through there. So um, speed one, you know, it's only just moving, so it's more like you're standing with a wooden spoon. You're not going to chop it up any further um, like that. So, yeah. yeah so. And is that what, sorry, question. Yeah. Is that what a blade cover would be used for as well? Like, uh, yes. good question. <laughs> so well, the blade cover, that's part of this um, month's offer as well, that um, you can get this in a bundle. So the blade mm-hmm. cover sits over the um, blades and it protects um, all your ingredients from being, yeah, hitting the blades. So yes. yes, you could actually, I've been using the blade cover a lot in the last couple of days. Yeah. And if you were concerned about the chicken, you could actually just do the same recipe exactly yeah. and just put the blade yeah. cover. Normally, I think the blade cover, like there are recipes that it says insert the blade cover. So if it, if it is, um, you know, definitely 100% uses the blade cover and it says put the blade cover on and you did it without the blade cover, you'd end up with shredded stuff. Mm -hmm. The recipe, this recipe is saying, look, it'll it'll be okay without the blade cover. Um, On reverse. It it would be fine to use it if you, you know, everything would be just the same probably. But yeah. Yeah. Normally, um, the blade cover recipes I've found are a little bit more liquidy um, and they obviously cook for longer too. So this is only cooking for eight minutes. So the chicken's literally yeah, only lots, just going to be two lots, two lots of bait. Yeah. yeah um, so the chicken, this is just cooking the chicken the right amount of time. Mm-hmm. If it was beef cheeks that cooks for four hours, um, by the time the beef cheeks had been in there for four hours touching the blade, they would start to Especially um, because you want, break down. Especially because you want the meat to break down, but you want it to hold together. That's right. That sort of thing. Yeah. yeah, so that's where like the blade cover comes in really good with the slow cooking um, as well. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, yeah. so that's... Yes, and you get that, or you get to add that this month um, as well, which I think is a great one. And the other thing that you get to add is the oval thermo server. So if you have never, have you guys heard of the thermo servers with the thermo mix? I have a couple. Yeah. Yeah. So this, the thermo servers um, will keep your meal cool. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's amazing actually. So you can, if you've got time in the afternoon or something, or you know when, when you get home from work, you've got an hour to yes. just do it quickly before you pick the kids up from school. You can cook it, put it in there, and even if you don't need it until six thirty, seven o'clock, it'll still be piping hot. You won't need to actually reheat it or anything like that. Yeah. So, or if another thing too, like if you did have time at like five o'clock to make to do the boiled rice. You could do the boiled rice if you were going to have this with boiled rice today and you weren't going to do the cauliflower rice. Mm-hmm. If you wanted boiled rice, you could do the boiled rice at 5 o'clock, pop it in there and then get home, cook your curry and then you've got your piping hot rice and your curry. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So the oval thermos servers, I reckon this is a, I really like this bundle because it's things that I've always had yeah. um, for my thermos. So I like this. And especially coming into winter. Winter, winter. winter and the slow cooking, yes. 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 <laughs> so again, what would what could we get done in the next four minutes? Eight minutes. Well, eight, well, eight, eight minutes. minutes. Yeah. So I used to tell people that I could bath my children in thirteen minutes because yes. risotto you leave for either thirteen or fourteen minutes. I forget what exactly, but I used to be able to bath three small children, get, <laughs> get them in and out of the bath in thirteen minutes, and that was my like go to if I didn't have anything planned. Some nights we'd even just have plain risotto, you no, know, just plain with cheese, but it was. It was yep. yummy and it was on the it's table yummy. in yep. you know, less than 20 minutes. So Yeah, absolutely. They're still alive, so that's good. But then the other thing, this is the reason I bought my Thermomix is because, like, so some people want it because it saves them time. Yes. Some people it's because it's saving money. Yes. Some people it's eating healthy. For me, it was that I wanted to do more with my cooking. Yes. So um, when I creativity. More creativity. So when I saw Heston um, oh. using a Thermomix and yeah. you know doing things to one degree and making creme caramels and you yeah. know tempering chocolate and all the rest of it, I thought, aha. Yeah. So it isn't just for people who no. you know, don't like cooking yeah. or struggle with cooking. It 
also takes your cooking to another level. So I was speaking to yeah. my um, delivery today, who was just dying to make um, hollandaise sauce. Oh. Because she'd made hollandaise sauce once and it was a disaster. And she said, I saw it in Kukuru and I, that's going to be my first recipe that I make. Yeah. And things like that that you just Hollandaise is one of those things to. that I would never, I would never, you probably made it the I, old fashioned I way. I did. And it was a pain. It still is a really good cook, but I, no, I wouldn't have even attempted it. It was a pain um, though. And yeah. I made it. Oh, only for the first time in the Thermomix, only like during COVID, I think it was, when we couldn't go out for um, breakfast. breakfast and I made it and like I did it and even in the back of my mind, I thought, oh, well, I got lucky. Like, it, like because everyone had told me how hard it was mm-hmm. and I thought, oh, you know, I got lucky and then only a couple of months ago, I made it again and it worked and then the other day, I actually asked Wes to make it, who is the 11 year old, yeah. and it worked. I'm like, okay, well, it just must work every time now it because does. he's like, you know, a bit loose with his ingredients and he's a bit, you know, with his grams, a bit over, doesn't matter, you know, whatever. Yeah. It's perfect. Mm-hmm. So I'm not surprised. No. That is, that's the thing. It be, the recipes work exactly the same every single time. Yeah. So yeah. That, that's something that's a real bonus, especially if you've got fussy kids because. You know, the kids they want know it to taste the same, same every time. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. never will with my cooking. Because no. I just bung whatever in. Yeah. But, um, yeah. but the Thermomix, yeah, it's so nice. Tea. So we got up to, um, so, oh, you can, oh yeah, thanks, Jean. Um, You've got Varoma um, temperature there. So Varoma temperature is our, like, hottest. So it's obviously trying to get it up to the maximum temperature to steam that, um, Cauliflower rice, because obviously if there's no steam coming out of the Thermomix, nothing's going to cook in the in the Varoma, but we're up to Varoma temperature, we're bubbling along there nicely, and I think the next step is just make sure that the cauliflower rice is evenly distributed, distributed and then, and then another eight there. minutes, and, and we'll mm-hmm. be ready to put our coconut cream in. Yeah. yeah, and the other thing with the Varoma, it's not just for vegetables, so no. you can cook up to two and a half kilos of meat in here. Um, so you can cook your pulled pork, um, you can cook brisket, um, whole ribs, chicken, chicken any, like two and a half kilos of meat will go in there. And when you take it out after the cooking time, it literally melts in your mouth. It's mm. kept all its moisture um, because of the steaming yeah. and the flavour is just incredible. Yeah. I, I, you know, like I've had a Thermomix for like nine years. Actually, it has been nine years. And um, again, online, I think just coming out of COVID was the first time I'd cooked a whole chicken mm. in there and I couldn't believe how much better it was than being in the oven for that time because mm. it was just so moist and lovely. It doesn't dry like, out. It doesn't yeah. dry out. It's so tender. The wings, I mean, the wings yeah. are crunchy and crap. Yeah. yeah, it's just in there. beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to go next. And it just wants us to stir the cauliflower. Thank you. Okay. Look at me, I've cleaned up on you. I know. I don't even do this step. I, I always just skip this step because I'm like, no, I know the cauliflower. No, it's going to work. It's yeah. just cauliflower. It'll be right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Tanya's back. Oh, hello, Tanya. <laughs> did you go for a swim or something, did you? You just ducked out? Okay. No, I lost my battery went and then I lost reception. Oh. oh. So I had to go switch. back to the unit. Oh, very good. Um, so now we're, we're back on for four minutes. Yep. So what's that? That's 12 minutes of cooking time altogether so far. So far, oh, well, yeah. once this is done. Mm-hmm. Um, so quickly whilst we're doing our four minutes, um, Julie mentioned cookie dough before, but we might just show you what that looks like because um, I know we say cookie dough and we know what we're yeah. talking about, but we've got a little visual here. So this is cookiedo.com.au. Um, this is where you go for all your Thermomix recipes. So your Thermomix can actually access this website. Um, but obviously you can access it on a computer and there's also an app for your phone as well. So you've got your recipes. It's like you've pretty much got your whole your recipe books in a little bag that you take everywhere with you, right? I think with the app. Mm. So it doesn't yep. matter if you're at Woolies um, and you know you don't know what you're going to cook for tea, you can open your app and all your recipe books are in there. So um, yeah, so you can search Cookie Do. It's really easy. Um, you can search by ingredient, category, mm-hmm. your favourite, popular, like things you've tagged, yeah. all that kind of stuff. Make your own collections. And then this is what it looks like when you do meal planning. So I think the best, I always say, the best thing about Thermomix 
is that I can do a meal plan. I just feel like I've got my life together if I know what we're having for dinner for the next week. Mm -hmm. Um, So this is where you can go into Cookie Do, you can do your meal plan, you can make a shopping list, you can either do your shopping yourself or you can um, link to the Woolworths online app. Oh, Mm -hmm. sorry, Woolworths online to order. Um, and, and that's just one button, by the way. It's literally one button. Yeah. You choose which amounts you want. Um, yeah. It's really good. Are you girls online shoppers on um, the list, like already, for your groceries? No. Okay. No? Yes? I think... You'd... Sorry, you're only really little yeah. here, and I don't have my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I um, do. I get do my groceries delivered every week. Oh, there you go. So this will be amazing. You'll just be able to click it. It'll open up your Woolworths login. Um, yep. And it'll just go, yep, these are what you need. And it even is smart, like it knows, okay, you normally buy white wings flour or whatever, That's that'll be right. And it'll know your brand. It gets to, okay. it gets to be really smart if you've done it before. Yep. Otherwise, it starts to learn um, from you. But, yeah, it's, yep. it's amazing and it saves you so much time having to go through the recipes and work out what you need as well. And with the shopping list, you already have ticked off what you've already got. Yeah. So it only adds what like, the need. stuff that you yeah. need. And I yeah. find that it's really good because ordinarily when I go to the shops, I'm like, oh, and I can't remember if I've got it or not. Whereas when I've got the shopping list before I go, I yeah. actually do go and tick it all off ahead of time. I don't get those duplicates. Yeah. 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 Are you girls meal planners? I am. You are? Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, okay. sort of. Sort of. <laughs> yeah. Oh, don't sort worry. Of. I have weeks that I um miss the boat with the meal plan as well. But the, the I plan, plan I plan dinners. That's it. I don't yeah. plan. Oh, yeah, me that's too. All. We don't yeah, that's anything all I else. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, that's all. I that's do. all. I do. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have to be really organised to play, put to have all the other stuff. But I think we just have the same. The kids just have same the same breakfast, thing for everything. Same lunch. lunch. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a bit boring with that. <laughs> yeah. No. Um, what were you going to say about the meal planning? Oh, that you didn't oh, just use it a week before? Or? No, no. All I was going to say is I think that meal planning is something that is really good when you're trying to save money. Yes. Because otherwise you do end up buying more than you plan or you... More than you need. Yeah, or mm. you don't know what you're going to have, so then you think, oh, I'll just have that. And it's an expensive dish, so you might end up with four expensive dishes in the week, whereas you, yep. you, know, you can choose from a budget book yep. that's in there. Yeah, and just maybe get one or two budget recipes and yeah. then a flash one when the kids are... Yeah. yeah. Um, when we were showing my cookie do before and it said Mel's favourite, in Mel's cookie do, she's actually got a collection which is called Five Days to Payday. <gasps> and they're all her like budget stuff that she's got, always got the ingredients in her pantry or she only has to get one like pretty cheap ingredient. That's great. And there's some great recipes in there and like they always have that, like they stick to their family budget and if it is... Five days to payday, and they've already done their eating out mm-hmm. or whatever for their week or for their month. Mm-hmm. Um, they go to that collection. Yeah, that's a great idea. I think yeah. some people, when they're thinking about the price of the thermomix, so they're really not thinking about how you save mm. with it as well and yeah. your health. So let's just have a look and see what it's up to. I see. So remove that. Remove that. I'll take that. You'll take that. Thank you. Super and keep it warm. Can you keep it warm? Yeah, now? I'm just going to sit here because we don't need to keep it warm. Cause... Okay. And now we want to add our 90 grams of coconut milk. So I'm just going to tear that off so it goes back to zero. Now, I know I know that you're probably going to frown on this as the recipe developer that you are, but I always just put in the whole tin because I never use the rest of the tin. Ah, uh, so I've got a tip for that. Okay, well, you use it because I need to make it tomorrow too so I can save some for tomorrow. So we are allowed, I am allowed to save it? You're allowed to just do 90 and then tell me how to save the rest. <laughs> okay, so what I do is I buy the... Yeah, I'm going to go yeah. next. I, yep. Insert the measuring cup. We can do that. And then press yep. next. And yep. then it wants... Two okay. minutes. So right, two what minutes do I do with it? it? Two minutes to tell you. Yeah. So what I do is um, we buy the 400 grams of coconut cream. Yep. And I have my sandwich bags. And I freeze four... I, I freeze them in... Um, the cream. Nine, it's basically 100 grams. So yeah. I, I do go over so 100 10 grams. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I go over oh, so, so you just put it in, put it in the snap lock bag and freeze it. And freeze it. So then when I oh. want my um, chicken curry, I pull out a tandoori paste and my coconut cream and put it on the bench and I'm halfway done and I'm not wasting any of my coconut cream. Oh, there you go. And I'm not getting um, 
any extra calories from oh, the coconut yes, cream. I'm always <laughs> very concerned about the calories that are in these noodles. <laughs> well, actually, I'm very pretty good lately, Julie. That's another story. Uh, now, before, <laughs> we've got a minute and ten seconds. We will quickly um, go through the payment options, please, Shane. So, um, obviously, talk to your consultant, Julie or Tanya, um, about these in more detail, but um, there's a couple of ways of getting a Thermomix. So if you're like, right, I need a Thermomix in my life, how are you gonna, how are you gonna do it? Um, so you can join our Team Thermomix, or Team Thermomix, can Team Thermo Fans. Yeah, there you are, and there's Tenya. Look at me and Tenya with our cowbell hats on at Primex. Um, oh, yeah. Casino. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we have lots of fun, as you can see. So if you girls, either of you girls are interested in joining our team, let your respective consultant know and um, you can chat to me about that mm -hmm. or if that's not for you you can obviously pay the Thermomix off in one um, payment of 2269 on PayPal credit card direct deposit whichever yeah. way suits you and all of those things on the picture just it, they come oh, with yeah, it oh yeah go too. back to that Shane. Yeah. so yeah that, that's all the bits and pieces that come so if you look in the bottom corner that's the blade cover that we didn't show you mm -hmm. um, but yeah obviously you get your spatula your butterfly your varoma simmering basket which we didn't even um, tell you about but the simmering basket I just brought it here oh there you go simmering yeah. basket so that actually goes inside the bowl um, and has various things you can do your boiled rice in there yep um any root vegetables any that, veggies that, that you don't yeah. want to touch the blade as yep. well um yeah yeah so that's in there go back sorry sorry Shane. um <laughs> he gets upset with me when i go backwards and forwards but anyway but he does um, such a good job he does a great job yeah. shout out to shane on the control panel yeah. um anyway <laughs> stick to it um so like i said before 23.69 a week is your weekly payment to the thermomix so if you're trying to fit the thermomix into a budget with you know you've, you've got your food budget for the week um or the month or whatever however your family does it you can easily save 23.69 yeah. a week I, I don't know anybody that can't save that by having a by thermomix having. um so we've got that payment option there um with zip money um so speak to your consultant if that's the way that you want to go and then we've also got another payment option that chunks it down a little bit which is the easy three so oh, this is this is my new favorite yeah, payment option here. Yeah. So it's nine hundred and nineteen dollars when you order, and then seven hundred the next month, and then seven hundred the next month. So it's just in manageable. Yeah, chunks. and your first mix comes yeah. out to you from yeah. the first payment. The minute, yes. the, minute the, the sale closes. Minute, minute yeah. you say yes, I'm having it, and you're putting your um, nine hundred and nineteen. Your thermomix mix um, um, gets oh. shipped, and they're coming really quickly at the moment too. I so know. you've been cooking in no time. Anyway, yeah. how's our curry going, Jules? Let's take a look. I still haven't got a big spoon down here. <laughs> I really need a big spoon in my life down in this kitchen, but anyway. Now that does look nice. Oh. I think I forgot the rice. Put some rice down. Yep. Look at how much rice it makes. And you if you wanted other veggies, like I had some um, sugar snap peas in there and I was actually like, gonna chuck some of them in there as well. But if you had any veggies, you could cook whatever you wanted in that Varoma um, as well. Um, you don't have to stick to that recipe. Mm, splattery. Look at that. Can we clean up? Oh, I'll just. Oh, <laughs> can you remember? Um, can you remember? Um, Huey. Huey's yes. cooking, and he used to get his dirty <laughs> tea towel <laughs> or his hanky oh, and wipe the sides. Yeah. I'm, I'm reminiscing on the olden days, in the nineties. Okay, so there. Oh, there you go, Shane. Oh, there. There you go. So there's our um, coconut chicken curry and cauliflower rice. rice. Yeah. Yeah. And so I'm just going to put the rest in the thermo server um, yep. so that it keeps it all nice and hot for Jemmy and her family. Excellent. Rightio. So, girls, have you got any questions? Because um, we've only got a little group, so feel free to ask anything that you want um, as well. I actually don't have any questions. Oh, that's oh. good. That means we did a good job. <laughs> We'll give ourselves a pat on the back. Oh, thank you. <laughs> no questions. What about you, um, Fiona? Um, I actually, you kind of answered me about the veggies because I was wondering, like, if you wanted to put broccoli and other, you know, carrot, and would Absolutely. you put it at the same time as the cauliflower rice, like at the start? Yeah, yeah. And if you like, sometimes, like, my kids now are trained that they will have cauliflower rice, and they don't even realise it's different. But yeah. if, 
like I said to you, um, if you wanted to cook your rice and put it in your thermo server, you could just skip past the cauliflower chopping up and all that step. Yep. And then you could just fill this with veggies if you wanted. Yep. Um, and it feels like you can bulk out any meal that uses the Varoma with heaps of veg because the Varoma is quite big. Like Julie said, it holds two, two, point, and, a half two and a half kilos of yep. meat. So you can put lots of veg in there as well. So yeah. What's, what's the average time of like steaming veggies? Um, oh, nothing over 25 minutes. So even like um, potato that you want to make into mashed potato, um, you only cook for 25 minutes. So and, and like we've, we've also broccoli or something like that, probably six minutes once it's boiling. Oh, it's not even that. I did it the other oh. day. It was only about three minutes. Three from minutes. Boiled. Yeah, yeah. From, yeah, from boiled. So I just wanted to show you the internal steam basket as well. So if we're cooking... Um, so say we're cooking a sauce or a soup or something like that in there, we can put our potato and root vegetables and everything in here. Yeah. We add our lid. So you put basically you put your heavier vegetables that are harder to cook in there. Or the corn or anything like that. Yeah. And then um, your next set would be say for carrots or broccoli <laughs> or whatever. And then when you come to the final tray, so you when when things are almost cooked. You then add your bite, so we'd have it here like this with all of our layers of vegetables, and then you might think, Oh, it's got five minutes left on the clock, or yeah. whatever. We'll They'll put our greens, snow peas, and yeah. greens, and yeah. beans, and things like that in there, and you've just got a massive amount of vegetables there, yeah. And so, then Can I also say that I quite often do that on a regular basis, and I often put fish or, or chicken the, on the yeah. top tray, the what, sorry? and so. I often do exactly what you just did then on a regular basis where I also put then my chicken or my fish on the top tray. Uh, so in 25 minutes, I basically have a meal and I haven't had to do anything after a hard day of work all day. That's yeah. it because at the end of the day, yeah. once it's all in there, you just walk away and then yeah. you might yeah. think, oh, it's probably got about five minutes to go, three minutes to go, I'll just bun the things, the greens in. And sometimes yeah. I've forgotten and so then I'm just like, I'll just put that on the top and walk away. And even the steam that's still in there yeah. will actually cook the um, the greens yeah. there in the top. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. Which any is nice. any other questions, Fiona? No. Excellent, radio. Um, well, girls, thanks so much for joining us. If you don't have any more questions, your um, consultant <laughs> um, will be in contact with you um, to work out what your next step is and if you need to know anything else um, or if you're ready to get your thermomix. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to join me on our Thermo Kitchen Facebook group. Happy cooking!